Do you have some sort of a job? Oh, yeah. I'm a waitress at the Cheesecake Factory. There's more to this restaurant chain than just their namesake cake and a connection to the Big Bang Theory. So grab a fork and dig into these 10 secrets the Cheesecake Factory doesn't want you to know. I love cheesecake. You're lactose intolerant. I don't eat it, I just think it's a good idea. A Detroit basement. Take him to Detroit. Given that it's called the Cheesecake Factory, it's nice to know that it all began with a cheesecake. Let's go back to the 19th. 1940s in Detroit, Michigan, and a lady named Evelyn Overton. Evelyn saw a cheesecake recipe in the newspaper, and after making a few of her own personalized adjustments to said recipe, had a hit on her hands. Everyone who tried her cheesecake loved it, so much so that she actually opened a little shop in her basement where she sold the cakes. She would eventually give up her business to raise her kids, but she never forgot about it. Years later, after her kids were grown up, Evelyn and her husband packed up and moved out to Los Angeles. This thing's going all the way to Los Angeles, buddy, all right? City of Angels. And it was there in the City of Angels in 1972 that she got back in the cheesecake game when she opened the Cheesecake Factory Bakery, a business that she managed to build up to a pretty decent size. She had about 20 different kinds of cheesecakes at that point, and she would sell her desserts to a number of restaurants all around the city of Los Los Angeles. Made fresh on site, except for the cheesecakes. Now it's the same food as the cafeteria, only fresh. If you watch pretty much any restaurant makeover show, one of the first things the chef making over the restaurant will say is that the menu is too big. Well, it's pretty obvious that the Cheesecake Factory has never watched one of those shows. If you've been to the Cheesecake Factory, then you are aware of the ridiculous size of their menu. If you've never been, then allow us to paint a picture for you. We're talking 21 pages and over 250 items. The menu is like a novel, but unlike those boring novels they make us read in high school, this one is filled with mouth-watering meals and, of course, lots of cheesecakes. I'll have a... a... The point is, there's a lot of food to choose from. Given the largeness of the menu, you might be surprised to learn that all of it is made fresh. As one server pointed out on Reddit, everything is prepared fresh daily. If it's a sauce that can't be altered for the dish, it is still a fresh sauce. Most everything on the menu is modifiable because they have a scratch kitchen. Interestingly enough, though, their namesake cheesecakes aren't made on site. They are made at their bakeries in California and North Carolina. They are then frozen and shipped to the restaurants. Original recipe. Look at the panel on your right and tell me your recipe. Original. The original of anything isn't always the best version of said item. I mean, as cool as the first iPhone was, how many of you would trade in your iPhone 13 for the original 2007 version? However, when it comes to the cheesecake they serve at the Cheesecake Factory, that original cake Evelyn Overton baked all the way back in the 1940s is the one you are eating today when you visit any of the restaurant's locations. Not literally, of course. They are baking new cheesecakes, but but according to Overton's son David, they are still using his mom's original recipe. He has said that they haven't changed his mother's recipe. They just make new ones with new things inside and try to make it as good as she did. Oh, it's the best. It is the best. I would not miss it for the world. Good cheesecake is just five ingredients, he continued. It's all about how you mix them. And we can probably all agree that the way they mix them is pretty darn awesome. This is the OG cheesecake for a reason. And while we do want a new iPhone every year, we don't ever want them to change that cheesecake recipe. Leave with sauce. You see what I see? I see a hair. You see too much. There's a lot of everything at the Cheesecake Factory. A lot of menu pages, a lot of cheesecakes, and a whole lot of sauces as well. What's a lot? How about over a hundred different sauces? They should almost be called the Delicious Sauce Factory, since they have so many to choose from. Spicy peanut sauce, lemon garlic aioli, soy ginger sesame sauce, marinara, 
marinara sauce, and buttermilk black pepper dressing are just five of the options you'll find on their menu for various appetizers and entrees. And if you like any sauce and wish you had a bottle of it in your fridge, well, guess what? You can take the sauce home with you. Now, if you've ever been to a cheesecake factory, you might be thinking that you don't remember a display case with hundreds of bottles of sauce for sale, and that might be true. But here's something super cool most people probably don't know. Of course you can purchase a cheesecake to take home, we all know that. However, as one server explained, you can buy any sauce at the store. Dude, shut up! That is awesome sauce! Just visit the bakery and make your request. Yep, that's right. If you want any one of the over 100 sauces, all you have to do is ask, and they'll package it up for you to purchase and enjoy at home. They are worldwide. They're everywhere. The Cheesecake Factory has fans and locations from America to China, including restaurants in Canada, Qatar, Kuwait, and Saudi Arabia. While the chain got its start in Beverly Hills, it has since moved away outside the 90210 zip code. First, they headed out of California with a restaurant in Washington, D.C. in the 1990s. After that, they continued to expand across the country, and in 2012, they headed outside of America's borders for their first international location, a 300-seat restaurant in the Dubai Mall. In 2016, they opened in Shanghai. The company's first foray into Canada happened in 2017 with the opening of their Toronto location. They are currently sitting at over 200 locations around the globe, and they have no plans of stopping. In fact, they have plans to expand even further into the Middle East, Asia, and Latin America in the coming years. Welcome to Mexico! The Cheesecake Factory is saying to the world, I know you want me, and they're giving the people what they want. It looks like cheesecake is a universal language. Make it at home. Hey, I don't need your help, okay, lady? I can do it myself. So you're craving the Cheesecake Factory coconut macaroon cheesecake cups, their Cajun jambalaya pasta, the chicken taquitos, or the cinnamon roll pancakes. What do you do? Well, you could hop in the car and drive on over to the closest Cheesecake Factory, or you could stay home and make it yourself. And no, you won't have to guess or reverse engineer the recipe. All you have to do is head on over to the Cheesecake Factory website and look it up. That's right, the chain has made recipes for a number of their most popular dishes available with ingredient lists and full step-by-step -step instructions. Although, if you're thinking that you'll now be able to make Cheesecake Factory cheesecakes at home, think again. While the company does does want to give customers what they want and are willing to give away some secrets, their cheesecakes aren't one of them. But there is some good news on that front. While you can't have the recipe to make the cheesecakes yourself, you can still enjoy them in the comfort of your own home without having to go to a restaurant to get them. Can you say home delivery? That's right, you can order a cake and have it shipped right to your door. Premium food and gift retailer Harry and David is the company behind this service. All you have to do is call them, go to their website, or even go old school and order via their catalog. It's that easy. While not every single cheesecake flavor is up for grabs via this service, there are definitely going to be at least a few of your favorite selections to choose from. Menu changes. We'll have the... <laughs> While the cheesecake hasn't changed since Evelyn Overton's original recipe back in the 1940s, the menu at the Cheesecake Factory has gone through plenty of changes over the years, and continues to do so even today. It's okay. We aren't going to change the school menu, okay? Everything's fine. While the initial concept of the Cheesecake Factory was as a dessert restaurant, the factory continued to add savory items over the years, eventually growing into a full-scale eatery. Now you'd think that with over 250 items on a menu that there would be no real need to change the selections, given that even regulars to the restaurant will always be able to find something that they've never tried before. But the Cheesecake Factory isn't a restaurant that likes to rest on its laurels. Maybe that's why Drake loves the place so much. But regardless of Drake's love for the joint, the factory has had a policy in place for years now, wherein they update their menu twice a year. Now, we aren't sure how 
how many plates they add and or remove, but they like to keep things fresh and new, and this is one way of doing that. So if you've been to the Cheesecake Factory a couple times and figured there was no reason to go back because you knew what was on the menu, think again. They have a skinny menu. I need to eat 10,000 calories a day to maintain muscle mass. No one orders cheesecake because it's low in calories. In fact, we wouldn't want a cheesecake to be low calorie. If we're eating cake, it's because we want cake, calories and all. The problem is that it isn't just the dessert menu that features high calorie counts. Anyone who's been to the Cheesecake Factory knows that they don't skimp on their serving sizes and that you are certainly going to get your money's worth of food. It wouldn't hurt if you had a few extra holes in your belt you could use at the end of the meal. Beyond the size of the meals, the factory has also never skimped on calories per plate either. We're talking an average of 1,400 calories per sandwich, with their highest caloric dish clocking in over 3,000 calories. That's, that's, that's crazy. But after receiving some backlash and negative reports on those high calorie numbers, the Cheesecake Factory made an attempt to address the reports by introducing their Skinnylicious menu back in the mid-2010s. As the name suggests, these are cocktails, salads, appetizers, and specialty dishes that offer lower calorie numbers than the regular menu selections. They all come in at under 590 calories, and some of the delicious-looking items include the Skinnylicious Crispy Chicken Sandwich with Sriracha Mayo and the Lemon Garlic Shrimp. The Bread Bread makes you fat. Bread makes you fat? Who doesn't love bread? You like bread? Yeah. Have some. We all probably know someone who spent half the pandemic making their own bread. Also, the arrival of the bread basket at a restaurant is sometimes the most exciting part of the entire night. And while the arrival of the cheesecake might be more exciting at the Cheesecake Factory, the bread basket is no doubt a close second. And one reason for this has got to be the chain's honey wheat brown bread. It's a fan favorite and one that many wish was used as the bread for their sandwiches as well. Well, the good news is that it can be. You see, while it doesn't specifically say so on the menu, a little-known Cheesecake Factory sandwich hack is the fact that you can ask for your sandwich to be made on the honey wheat brown bread. And from what we've heard, the restaurant is generally very accommodating to such a request. Allow us to recommend you try this hack with their club sandwich. The bread goes particularly well with this Sammy. Bon appetit! They donate extra food. I'm gonna make a donation. One of the saddest things to see is the dumpster behind a restaurant filled with food that's still good, which has been thrown out. It's such a waste, especially since there are so many hungry people in the country who could use a meal but can't afford one. Well, the Cheesecake Factory is trying to do its part to change that. For years, they've been donating excess food to the community, which they have a lot of, given that they have such a large menu and make everything fresh daily. But getting that excess food to where it needs to be isn't as easy as it sounds. Sometimes there's so much that finding nonprofits able to take it all has been a challenge. So in 2020, they introduced a zero food waste technology platform that has helped them expand and grow their donations. We're talking over 400,000 pounds of food provided to soup kitchens, after school programs, shelters, etc. The company also got together with DoorDash and provided over 20,000 meals to healthcare workers during the summer of 2020 during the first wave of the pandemic. Wow, so good. Say what you will about the company, but one can't deny that providing food to those who need it is a good deed that deserves to be praised. Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> Take a bite out of more great videos. Just tap or click, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell to join our notification squad. And hey, leave us a comment.